Here at Caring Medical, when someone is complaining of low back pain, we initially do what's called a dynamic digital radiograph. What does that mean? It means we do a motion x-ray of their low back, of them moving in various positions, you know, flexion, extension, rotation, positions that they're saying, you know, hurt them, sitting. In this patient, they had a lot of back pain with flexion and extension. So here is their initial x-ray on day one. Here's the sacrum. These are the lumbar vertebrae. You know, we can comment on degeneration and, and osteophytes and things, but really we're just gonna be looking at the instability in this video. You can see here how, if I was gonna draw a line down the back of the vertebrae, how there's ones that kind of stick out more, okay? Like segments that don't quite line up. Here we go. After this patient has completed several rounds of prolotherapy, this is their latest x-ray. These are slowed down as well. So the patients, we don't make them move this slow to do this. What we're looking at is when this person moves, are there vertebrae that slide out of place, like whether it's forward or backward as they're moving? A lot of times what we'll see is that patients initially, like when they're standing, it's not that they look like they have like big spondylolisthesis or vertebrae out of place. It's more so when they're moving that we actually pick up on this. Here's just comparing before and after side by side. Again, you can see here, if we kind of draw a line, how this vertebrae, like right there, there's what we call like this stair step. And here, you can see how that's reduced with the patient's extension. If we kind of hold them side by side, I think that's made, make it a little bit clearer. Again, right through here. And then how it's much more reduced there. So I like to draw lines on the pictures for patients. I think that makes it helpful. The measurement is just how long the line is. Again, we're just looking at, hey, if you're extending and I draw this line, what kind of, you know, is out of place, like what bone is sliding farther back than it should be with extension. And here, there's two things to note. One is, yes, these lines are much more clear, much more in line, so that patient has gained stability, and they've also gained range of motion, which we'll see a lot too. Like, typically when patients come in on day one, they're in a lot of pain. Like, maybe their back is really spasmed, their muscles are really tight, and they don't quite move as much. And then as they are gaining stability, as they have less pain, they actually start to move more. So even with more range of motion, this patient's back is much more stable.